And that's the big difference you're looking at. It says 39 and 11 for Michael. This is going to be his 50th fight. And you can take a look at that 13 2. I say it's 17 and 2 because he had four wins that are not on there. But this is a fight between two outstanding fighters. With the official introductions, here's Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the fabulous forum in Inglewood, California. Tonight, live on the Zone, Bellator MMA presents the second half of the opening round of the $1 million Featherweight World Grand Prix. First up, set for three five minute rounds, introducing the Blue Corner. At 5 foot 10, weighing in 144.8 pounds. His professional record 13 wins, two losses, fighting out of Manchester, England, Saul Business Rogers. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at 5 foot 10, weighing in 144.2 pounds. The two time title challenger brings a veteran 50 fight professional record featuring 39 victories along with 11 defeats. Fighting out of Frankfurt, Germany, presenting Daniel Drake Michael. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Mylan Ayers. So Mylan Ayers has been assigned the task of officiating this first round matchup in the Bellator MMA Featherweight World Grand Prix. Round one, so you ready to fight? Dan, you ready to fight? Fight! The bell in round one scheduled for three five minute rounds. <laughs> Saul Rogers in the blue gloves. Daniel Weichel in the red gloves. They're gonna try to turn each other's lights out here in this <laughs> matchup, John. The big difference, a nice right hand by Saul Rogers. The big difference I see in these two guys. Technical oh, has power gets staggered. and strength is all in Saul Rogers' corner. Rogers, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu purple belt, but he says he's always submitting black belts. All eight submission wins have come in the first round. All eight have come via choke. Rogers attacks the neck like a vampire. Many times you don't get that belt rank level change based upon you're not in the gi a lot when you're an MMA fighter. You are doing everything no gi. And a lot of people don't look at that. Right hand by Rogers. One, two connects as Vaisal circling to his right. Smart Low adjustment. Kick. Smart adjustment by Vaisal because he's getting hit by that right hand. Take steam off of it. Go away from it. Vaisal was a Bellator season 10 featherweight tournament winner. He's been competing in MMA for 17 plus years. Rogers has had to overcome so much outside of the cage and yet feels that he wants to make the most of this second opportunity at the highest level, knowing what's at stake, that $1 million grand prize and the right to call yourself Bellator MMA featherweight champion. The title on the line coming up later tonight as Rogers putting together a combination. Rogers changes levels, picks up the single, well defended by Weichel. And what you're going to see here is Rogers going to bring both of those legs, switching back and forth on his transitions. Nice balance point by Daniel Weichel. The only way Sal Rogers is going to get Weichel to the ground is not through a single type of technique. He's got to chain those techniques together. Both of them noted for their submission prowess. Weichel with 22 submissions out of his 39 victories, looking for his 40th win here tonight. A huge edge in experience over Saul Rogers. Rogers closes the distance, attacks the body, coming up on the midway point of the first frame. Guys, still in the feeling out process. You saw that Rogers was landing that overhand right that he just well, threw. That one was blocked. And Weichel has now adjusted, and it is not landing. That's showing exactly where he is technically. Yeah, he was getting hit. Well, a guy in his 51st fight probably knows how to make a few adjustments, <laughs> my man. And Weichel been picking up those hair miles. Bottom is native Germany, England, Japan, Ireland, Sweden, Bulgaria, Netherlands, France. I'm surprised he doesn't have his own travel show. 
now that MMA is picking up all through Europe and you're seeing a lot more fighters from places like Germany. Weichel was one of the very first Germans that was very good at this sport and going all over. You just didn't see a lot of guys from that country competing in MMA. Weichel's done his homework on Rogers, knows that Rogers, especially for a Brit, has a, a very good wrestling base. Which is, you know, it's unusual. You get a lot of guys from Britain great in the stand up, big, heavy hands just have a hard time with wrestling and have to pick it up. And a lot of them coming to like the U.S. to train. Same as Saul Rogers, who is now with Hard Knocks 365 for his Good counter left hand by Daniel Weichel. All of Rogers' eight submission wins have come in the first round, but he's also been defeated twice via submission, but it's been a pure stand-up affair here into the final minute of the opening round, still collecting that data, still trying to find the rhythm and see what the other has in store as we want you to join the conversation. Hashtag Bellator 228 as Rogers ripped a right hand off the face of Weiser. And Weiser returned it with the left. They're both tagging each other more, and they're both connecting on their counters. Three seconds left. The big difference, take a look at the head position of Sal Rogers and take a look at the head position of Weichel. There is just that angle difference of Weichel's chin is just a little higher. Oh, Weichel just landed that sweeping left hook. Badly hurt. Rogers tried to get the takedown, but amazing that Rogers immediately went for the takedown, being staggered. Weichel with his back, another right hand. Rogers desperately trying to survive this onslaught. What a finish in the first round for Daniel Weichel looking to put the dot in the exclamation point with that jumping knee. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. Hey, just breathe for me. Just breathe for me. Hey. Everything's working good. Yeah. Everything's Watch working the exchange good. on these relax. counters. Look at that beautiful left hand coming across by Daniel Weichel. Hey, let's get back to chicken a little bit. Don't forget about the legs, hands first. Left hand, boom, right on the chin. Those are the little moments. Nice, straight right hand. That's the one that staggered Sal Rogers. Look at him go. He's getting stiff. Can't control his balance. Look at the legs. Got that stanky leg going. <laughs> that is a stanky leg going. But amazing, he was able to actually collect himself and remain in this fight. Round two, you ready to fight? Ready to fight? Fight! The bell in round number two saw Rogers in the blue gloves. Daniel Weichel, who had a fantastic finish to that first round in the red gloves. How do you have it on your unofficial scorecard, John? Unofficially, that round goes to Weichel based upon what you saw in the last part of that round. He had Sal Rogers damaged. He almost had him out of the fight. That's what the judges are looking for. Weichel began training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at 15, Thai boxing at 16, wrestling at 17, and now at the age of 34, looking to move one step closer to that $1 million grand prize in the featherweight title right hand scores for Rogers. And that's an important move as you're watching Rogers' footwork. He's using his feet to move himself into Daniel Weichel instead of leaning. When you see a guy who's leaning, that sometimes tends to, he was hurt and he's remained hurt. His, he's back, he understands exactly where he's at and he's functioning well. Rogers looking for the takedown and well Great defended defense. with the wizard there by Weichel. Great defense by Weichel. He was deep on that takedown, Morrow, and he fought that off. Not easy to do. Inside low kick by Weichel. Of course, with two guys known for their submissions, <laughs> you're gonna see a stand-up affair. Minute and a half gone here in the second as Rogers attacking the back leg of Weichel. You know, Weichel had a situation earlier in his career fighting Pitbull where he hurt Pitbull. Almost had him out similar to what he just did with Rogers and came out 
wild and throwing hard at the start of the second. He's not doing that, which tells you he learned from that experience. Wow, Vaisal was looking to deliver that uppercut like the rock in Jumanji. <laughs> Two minutes gone here in the second. Oh, there's a left hand that clipped Vaisal. So Vaisal showing, oh, that was a good inside leg kick to the lead leg of Vaisal by Rogers, and Rogers again going to that well. One of the things you're seeing out of Rogers, though, is after that shot in the first round, he's throwing a lot of ones, Morrow. He's not throwing combinations. He's not throwing that second, third shot that's going to catch Vaisal. Rogers showing respect to Vaisal, but again looking to hack away at the lead leg of the German fighter and lands that right cross. And Rogers fainting. You can tell that he would like to change levels, would like to secure that takedown on Vaisal. Well, the way for him to secure that takedown is exactly what you're saying. Throw those hands, make Vaisal react to those shots, and as he's reacting to them, then you're coming in, changing levels, and getting deep in inside. Under two minutes left in the second round, again, Rogers attacking the lead leg of Vaisal. Vaisal showing the jab, but backing up off the back foot. Double jab by Vaisal gets through the guard of Rogers. But Rogers puts together a one-two. And nice right hand that landed. And at 30 left in the second. The first of our four opening round contests to complete the first round of the Bellator MMA Featherweight World Grand Prix as Vaisal able to knock Rogers down momentarily with that kick. Vaisal knocked him down with that kick and went after nice the second time Rogers. and you saw the counter right hand from Sal Rogers. Another inside kick to the lead leg of Vaisal. So Rogers putting in that investment, John. Yep, little, little shots, continuing to put pressure on, not letting him relax. Not opening up big because he got caught. He's a, I'm not going to take that big chance. I'm going to just slowly pick him apart. Speaking of opening up, yet to see much of that from Vaisal as well. Yeah, those nice shots by Sal Rogers there. Vaisal had the opportunity to keep that pressure. If you could push oh, right hand, left Sal hook, Rogers back. Rogers. Sal Rogers is a, a forward coming fighter. You've got to make him start to step backwards. Under 30 seconds left in the second round. Rogers fainting. Lead right hand doesn't connect. Inside leg kick checked by Vaisal. Left hook again scores for Vaisal. Final 10 seconds of the second round. Head kick by Vaisal. Third and final round is straight ahead. your rhythm really good that last minute and 30 seconds, last two minutes. Yeah, you found your rhythm real good. You loosened up a little bit. You started laying a little bit. Here's what I want. We got five minutes. Just keep pumping that front foot. Pump, level change, fake. That opens up everything. Jab, level change. Jab, low kick. Yeah? Let everything come off your front foot. You just keep controlling the tempo, OK? Keep driving the fight. Keep staying charged, OK? You relax and breathe. Daniel. Daniel, very simple, Daniel, simple. Move and everything you do, set up with the jab, okay? Everything you do, set up with the jab, okay? That's it. Okay. Hey, don't take this shit. Stay in the burger games. Heading into the third and final round of this featherweight. World Grand Prix opening round contest between Saul Business Rogers and Daniel Drake Fischel. You ready? Fischl. You ready? Fight! There's the bell. John, how do you have it after 10 minutes and why? After 10 minutes, I give the second round to Saul Rogers. He landed the volume shots, landed the better shots. Right now, I have this as an even fight. Weichel opening up more aggressively here, knowing that this is the third and final round and knowing that this fight remains on the table. 
I think the guy that you're gonna see coming out with the win in this fight is the guy that's able to push forward and make his opponent go back. Lead right hand covered by Rogers looking for the takedown. Good defense by Weichel. Outstanding defense by Weichel. Now when we're saying outstanding defense, it's fantastic. Oh, right hand. where he wants to be. You see how he pronated that punch. Does not gain anything with the judges by defending. Well done, though, for that right hand. And there's a right cross. So Weichel opening up, showing an uptick in his striking here in the first minute of the final round. And again, Rogers gets tagged. And Rogers corner saying, hey, don't forget the leg. Well, there you go on cue. Check though by Weichel. Rogers needs to utilize that, that nice little inside kick and follow it up with his right hand. All our Randy a, Couture did against Tim Sylvia long ago. One of the most electric atmospheres I've ever experienced in Columbus, Ohio. Right uppercut by Rogers. And right now you're seeing that Daniel Weichel is the guy that's able to control the position of this fight. Sal Rogers is showing you, I would like to take him to the ground. He cannot do that. Weichel has been beautiful in his wrestling defense, and he's the one that's really controlling the distance of this fight. With just over three minutes left, talk about adjustments you want to see from each fighter going down the stretch. Well, adjustment for Sal Rogers right now. Quit throwing just the one jab like he is right there. I want you to, if you're going to throw that jab, then bring that right kick. I want you to have multiples. Make Vichel go backwards. If you're Vichel in return, I need you to make sure that you pressure every time that he throws that kick. I need a right hand or a left hook coming back as a counter. Rogers just poking away with the jab, but on his back foot, and, and he has to start opening up as well because, as you say, it is a close fight. You would have to imagine on the scorecards. And Rogers now backpedaling, setting his feet, but it's Weichel who's throwing the punches. Through the punch, he missed that one. You know, everything is about what lands and how it lands. Inside kick again, but Rogers, you're right, hot shotting with the jab, nothing else. Yep. Multiples are going to cause problems. You want to cause problems for your opponent by throwing one thing at him. You're not causing enough of a problem. There's a right hand by Rogers. Again, coming up after the finish of the opening round, following the championship fight between Patricio Pitbull and Juan Archuleta, we will present the Bellator MMA and Featherweight World Grand Prix selection show. And the fans here at the forum used to the Showtime Lakers back in the day. Oh, and Vaisal may be trying to close the show. That was a nice shot, that, that wobble. Sal Rogers, Weichel needs to continue to pressure him. Left right hand, right hand, but a nice counter from Rogers. Continue the pressure on him. Be safe, don't overextend, but the pressure is everything. Again, you talk about the mental pressure of, you know, Baisho coming off a couple of losses and yet gaining entry into the tournament, knowing that it could change his life. Winning the title, a million dollar prize, and I don't know, John, do you think, uh, you know, the fans booing and stuff, but uh, again, a highly experienced Baisho, Saul Rogers, well, first Maybe off, a little tense, a lot of nerves coursing uh, through their veins. Well, let me, let's just be basic. The fans that are booing have no clue. These guys are putting it out. They're trying. They're working hard. They're just both very good, and it's tough to get over on a good fighter. That's at Big John McCarthy. Go ahead. Baisho right here should oh, not allow Rodgers to get up. And depending on how it's scored, John, we could see a sudden victory round yes, because it is the tournament. Yes, we could. Changing jabs. Michael just misses with the right hand, and then Rogers comes back again with the lead left. Right hand by Rogers. 20 seconds left in this fight. Who wants it more? Who wants to advance to the quarterfinals of the Bellator MMA Featherweight World Grand Prix? 10 seconds left. Blood under the right eye of Daniel Weichel. Naked shot by Rogers, defended by Weichel. We're going to the judges' scorecards. And so, if you were one of the official judges, how would you have it, John? Well, I would have it 10-9 in the first round for Daniel Weichel, 10-9 in the second for Saul Rogers, and 10-9 the winner, Daniel Weichel, 29-28.
All right, luminaries, of course, this being Los Angeles. And hey, welcome back to LA. Paul George, who, along with Kawhi Leonard, shaking things up. And there is a power couple in Hollywood, Kelly Ripa, her husband, Mark Consuelos, and uh, one of my buddies going back all the way to the Pride Fighting Championship days in Japan. It's Randy the Ram, Mickey Rourke taking in the action at the Fabulous Forum. All right, let's get the official decision from Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your three judges at Kate side. Your first judge, Michael Bell, scores at 29 to 28. Judge Ron McCarthy sees it 30, 27. And Judge Rob McKnight scores it 29 to 28. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision. Now advancing to the quarterfinals in the Featherweight World Grand Prix. Daniel Drake Weichel. Daniel Weichel, this is 40, as in his 40th career victory, bouncing Saul Rogers out of the tournament, advancing to the quarterfinals, and he's standing by with John McCarthy. I'm here with your winner. First thing, congratulations on advancing in the tournament to the next round. That was a tough fight. You hit him several times and had him hurt. Let's talk about the first round. Yeah, it, it took me a uh, little time to get into the fight, but then I got my timing distance better and uh, I could connect better uh, till the end of the round. So I really felt I really hurt him and maybe a couple more seconds I would finish in the first. In the third round, you hurt him again. Did you think about going after him? You seemed to kind of hold back like, I'm not going to make that mistake. I'm just going to let my time go. Of course, I, I uh, didn't want to rush and uh, I want to pick my shots. I know uh, he can take a shot and uh, I want to pick my shots at the right time, and that means that I don't need to rush. Well, you're going to be part of the selection show, telling us who you're going to fight and when you're going to fight. If you could have that choice right now, who would it be? I don't know. I have to sit back with my, with my team and uh, think about it. I have no, no favorite fighter I want to fight. My goal is it to uh, be the best featherweight on the planet, and that means I have to beat anybody in this division. Well, that was an outstanding win. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. For the band, moving on in the tournament, Daniel Drake Weichel.